So today is a continuation of my live stream in which I was wrapping sea glass with wire and also adding little forms like treble clefs, notes, stars, and moons. And also it's a throwback to an older video where I was wrapping just some natural stones for rings as well. So I'm going to kind of riff off those two ideas and do a couple of rings with sea glass. So what you're going to need for this project are some sea glass, a ring cone, your tools, you need cutters, round pliers, flat pliers, and you can use 20 gauge wire or 18 gauge wire. We're going to start with a, about an 18 inch piece of 18 gauge wire and we need our ring cone and we're going to wind it around. Now this ring isn't going to be adjustable so you want to start it like at your actual ring size. So then what we want to do now is just to take that, bend it up at a right angle and then take the other one and just wrap it around just to have a good starting point for the glass. So after that you can just remove that and you could bend that to one side and that one is to that side and then you could take your glass and just put it on top. So we're going to take that one and then just wind it around uh, over to one side. So we're going to just move this one out of the way, wind it kind of over and then you want to bring it back through the ring form. So just bring it back through there and that's going to secure that one in place and then this one we're going to go the opposite way. So take this one and do almost like a like a uh, X on there. So we're going to bring that one around here just to there and then just wind it around. So there we have a starting point but that's not going to be secure enough. So what you have to do is really go with the shape of your glass and just figure out where it needs more reinforcement. So bring this one around here and then we're going to just bring it over like under here and over the middle there. So just bring it around here, bring it back through the, the ring here, bring it in here and don't worry if it's loose because it's all in the finishing touches. So we have it wrapped in three different places and so from there you can go ahead and we're just going to wind that around once so we can clip it. So we're going to bring that one around here and give that a clip. So we're just going to clip that off there. This is the 18 gauge wire so it is a lot stiffer than what would you would do with the 20 gauge wire. So now we have this one that comes through here and let's finish it on the ones finish that side. We're going to finish this one on the opposite side. So make sure you pull it tight enough, bring it around here, put it through there, bring it right around and then give that a clip. So we'll just give that a little clip and push that in there. So like you see, it's still a little bit loose, but that's okay. We're going to put it back on the ring cone just to make sure the band is smooth and then you can go ahead and tighten these up as you wish. So for that I like to get my bigger round pliers and then you're just going to hold that in place and what I like to do is just like with a little flick of the wrist so put your um, your pliers like whatever depends on what way you want to bend the wire and then so just do that and give it a little jog. Little jog does a nice little curve there. So same on the other side. Just hold it in place, get those round pliers and give it a little bit of a jog and it makes it look nice and it tightens up the wrap. So same thing here. Especially if you want to separate these wires a bit. So just take that there and bend it out so that makes more space there and this too and bend it like out so these are more spaced out. And then this one, these got really close together there. So let's just see what we could do about that. So let's just take this one and push it out a little bit. And then we'll do the same on this side. We're just going to take that one. It makes it look almost watery, like kind of wavy, which is interesting. So we're going to take that one out there. 
So it looks really, really cool. The 18 gauge wire is nice and thick, so it's going to hold it quite nicely, especially because this is a big piece of glass and then it just holds on there. Super funky, you can make it smaller, of course, if you want, but that's a very simple way to wrap the seat glass for a ring. So for this one, I'm gonna use 20 gauge wire so I can make a little musical note on there. And what I'll do is I'll just start by doing the band. So you'll probably wanna go around it at least two or three times if you're using the 20 gauge wire. Otherwise, it's going to be very flimsy. So just bring this one around here. Remove it from the cone and just take one wire and bring it around through here. And then that way it's going to make it more secure. So if we bring that one around here and then just check sort of the width of your glass and the same thing. You could bring this one around here so we have it attached into places and you have like just a little space there where you can put the glass so now we're going to just slip the sea glass on there and then we need to wind it in place start with one side and just wrap it around a couple of times and then bring it back through the the ring here and then just we'll wrap it around. We can tighten it up later. So we'll just wrap it around once like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom part. So we're gonna bring it around here and wrap it around twice. Careful, it's a little wiggly. Put it back through the ring the 20 gauge is much easier to work with than the 18. So make sure it's sort of flat underneath and then wrap it through here. Okay, so we have it wrapped in two places. So now if you do want to embellish it with like a little note or a little icon, make sure this wire is straight. You probably would have wanted to cut this one a little bit longer, but it should be okay for this. We're gonna bring that one around and then we're going to form our note. So we have to take our round pliers. I'm going to try to show you upside down here and then bring this around to form a note. So what we have to do, it's a little bit hard to show you, but we're going to form a circle around here. See, we're going to form our circle, but that's a little bit big. So I'm going to use my smaller round pliers Bring this one around here and just form the circle for the note. So you see there we have that there. Make sure this is straight and then just bend this one across. So just hold it. Normally I'd flip it upside down but I want you guys to see this. So we're going to just bend this across here. It's really tricky for me to do <laughs> kind of upside down like this, but that's okay. So we're going to bend that straight across and then we're going to bend that down and then we want to do the other circle on the other side for the other note. So we're going to take this, bring it around here, adjust that a little bit if you have to, and just bring it around. Like I said, I'll reference the other video so you can see how I did it as a pendant. So there's the note and then what you want to do is complete your circle, bring that straight down, and then bend it across at sort of the surface level. So there's the, the little note like that. And then from there, you could bring it around and we can actually uh, finish it over on this side. So let's just take this, bring it down here, and then if you need the pliers, stick it through there right around and then you can actually cut it flush in there so just take that give it a little cut and then you can pinch it in this end here you can just cut it also flush so we're just going to take this one and just give it a little clip there and then just push the little end in so it's not uh, sharp 
So there you have sort of the basic ring like that with the note, but you'll probably want to tighten it up. So make sure it's firmly on the ring cone. Then I'm going to take my round pliers and I want to tighten this up a little bit. So you can see there's like a little gap there. Make sure it's right in there and then you can tighten these up with the little flick of the wrist. So you can just take that, bend it and bend it and this one too. You can bend it up a little bit, bend it that way because you don't want it to come out but you do want to tighten it. So we'll take that one, bend it down, and that one too, we're gonna to bend it down a bit. And here we can bend it a little bit more and a little bit more. And then if you think it needs bending underneath, you can take this and look underneath and see where it's loose. So just take this and bend it a little bit just to tighten them up because that way it's going to hold better in place. The key is to tighten it without distorting it. So because you don't want it to get like all distorted and to flip out. So that just tightens it up a little bit and then you can put it back on the ring cone and then adjust it how you want. You can adjust this one a little bit too if you need to. It's totally up to you. Sometimes it's just in the finishing touches that makes it more secure. And there you have your sea glass with the music note. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and wire jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you want to sign up below, I'll send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.